overflows enlightened one and dreams what does it mean for someone to become enlightened it means one thing now he is totally conscious whatsoever goes on in his mind he is aware and the moment you are aware certain things completely stop just through awareness they stop it is just like this room is dark and you bring a candle the darkness will disappear everything will not disappear these bookcases will be here and if we are sitting here we will be here by bringing the candle only darkness disappears witnessing is an important part of the awakened one it is the beginning witnessing is the scientific basis for all experiences of dharma they loosely translated as religion also the essence of all religious and inner journey as a result all scriptures and upanishads revolve around witness all principles instead other indicators are for witness search for god is not a spiritual in the ancient yoga sutras there is no talk of god this was not necessary later on yoga sutras talked about god and considered this the means for inner search and considered a means alone not the objective an enlightened one cannot dream and if you like dreams very much never become enlightened dreaming is part of sleep dreaming is part of your unconscious state this unconscious state can be when you are sleeping or waking the first thing is that dreaming to happen you have to move into sleep unconscious state for ordinary dreams you have to move into sleep in sleep you become unconscious when you are unconscious dreams can happen they happen only in your unconsciousness an enlightened person is conscious even while asleep he cannot become unconscious in any way even if you give him an anesthetic substance or something like that only his periphery goes to sleep he remains conscious and this consciousness cannot be disturbed krishna says in bhagavad gita that while everyone is asleep the yogi is awake it is not that yogis are not going to sleep at the night certainly they are they also sleep but their sleep has a different quality only their body sleep and then their sleep is beautiful it is a rest your sleep is not rest introspect you wake up in the morning are you fresh this will determine whether your sleep is a rest or not it may even be an exertion as a result in the morning you may feel more exhausted than you ever felt in the evening a whole night sleep and in the morning you feel exhausted what is happening 
you are a miracle the whole night was an inner turmoil your body was not at rest because of the mind mind was so active and the activity of the mind is bound to create an exertion for the body remember without the body mind cannot exist without the body mind cannot act the activities of the mind means parallel activity of the body so the whole night your body is moving and is active that is why in the morning you feel more exhausted your bed becomes a polo ground tossing and turning on the bed remains the way what does it mean for someone to become enlightened it means one thing that now he is totally conscious each moment whatsoever goes on in his mind he is aware and the moment you are aware certain things completely stop just through awareness they stop it is just like this room that was dark and you bring a lit candle with this darkness will disappear everything will not disappear those bookshelves those furniture and if you are sitting here everything will remain by bringing the light only darkness disappears when someone becomes enlightened now he has an inner light enlightenment is like bringing light to the innerness that inner light is awareness through that awareness sleep which was unconscious disappears and nothing else but because sleep disappears the quality of everything also changes with that now whatsoever he is doing he whatsoever he is going to do will be in his state of total alertness or awakening and all that needs unconsciousness as a prerequisite now becomes impossible he cannot be angry this does not mean it is a decision not to be angry and he cannot be angry anger can exist only when you are unconscious now unconsciousness is no more so the base is not there and anger is not possible for anger there has to be an undercurrent of unconsciousness he cannot hate either because hate exists only when you are unconscious he becomes love and you will notice that love flows out of you naturally and spontaneously this is not the outcome of any decision on his or her part when light is there consciousness is there love blossoms and then flows love blossoms and then flows it is natural you do not have to make any effort for it dreaming becomes impossible because dream needs 
first of all unconsciousness and unconsciousness has now disappeared because of the inner light or awareness there is no unconsciousness this is how the life goes on buddha anand buddha's disciple is said to have is reported to have said after sleeping and living in the same room in the same place with buddha it was a miracle it is very strange buddha never moves in his sleep he remained in one posture the whole night so when unconsciousness disappears the inner light the awareness becomes the guiding principle many things naturally disappear for which earlier on you have to make an effort to be loving now you don't have to make any effort for being loving instead it becomes a natural process enough for now